Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It sticks here, we're in the nether, we're at the gold farm. I've just been sitting here for a while and as you can see, we've got to level 200, which is great. I have just been out and picked up my brand new mouse, so you won't hear me complaining about that anymore. I've just clicked screenshot for some reason. There's a wrong button, I meant to click F5. Okay, let's test out this new mouse, guys. I got a Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum, I believe that's what it's called. Anyways, let's test out the mouse. And um, yeah, you can stop complaining about it now. But guys, I've just been here. We've got a bunch of gold. Let's get on with the episode. Okay, guys, first up, we're at the noisy, noisy food processing machine. Our bulk storage with shock boxes just full of things that we want. I've just crafted up our lunchbox here. We've made it purple. And so that can go into our thing because all the cool kids have purple lunch boxes. That's what I've been told anyway. So we've got a shock box here full of carrots. We're going to empty this. And we'll put this back in the system when we're done. But actually, I'm going to need a few spaces here. Let's not be too hasty on that. Let's craft all this back into nuggets. There we go. Golden carrots. That's what we're doing, guys. Golden carrots. So we've got a bunch of gold here. We've got to turn all of this into nuggets, like so. And then just craft up a lot of carrots. So these golden carrots are going to be our new food source. Done are the days of this stink food that is not made of gold like who wants steak nobody wants steak we want golden carrots which i believe is the best food in the game so let's actually just take these put them in here and uh we won't have to eat as often these things are awesome so i'm gonna craft up a full shulker box here and we're gonna leave this in our ender chest so that would be really good okay let's carry on Okay, guys. Well, there wasn't quite enough space, to, uh, enough gold to fill up a whole thing here, but we've we've got a, a decent amount. This will do us for a while. I don't know where I'm going. There's no ender chest over there. Uh, let's just place one down and chuck our lunchbox in there. Okay, very good. I, I don't know why this glowstone's hanging out either. It should be in the nether box, which is this one. Let's get this a little bit organized. Anyways, guys. What we're doing today is we are going to work on this building here again. Whoa, lag. Um, we're going to work on getting this farm hooked up, maybe. We're going to see if this is clogging up or whatever. I think if we add that in, this is it's going to get it's going to get too full and it's going to be errors. Don't want errors. Anyway, let's put this back into the system so that can go in to this chest here like that should go into this hopper. Nope, that's a chest. I want to click on that. There we go. Okay, cool. That's that's gone in there. We're still getting carrots. We're still getting potatoes. Very good. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll work on the looks of this building, and as we're going, we'll test. We might hook this up and see if it overflows. If it does, we can design it a little bit differently. But we're going to look on the lights today, and oh no, we've run out of shulker boxes on here again. This, there's none in there. That's full, and this thing will be full, but the, the hopper behind is... Uh, is, is that that's annoying guys that is annoying let's just put this in to make sure the lights are off for at least a part of this episode that'll make me feel a lot better okay guys as you can see i've started placing some bricks around it we're on top of our other industrial build right now the only other one in town but um yeah right so we've placed this in here um i'm not i'm not enjoying it too much i think we need to make these corners a bit different so I've, I've wrapped it right around both sides here it's the same shape but i wanted to make the sides a little bit round on this one not so like square like this one here but i think i think we need to take some of this stuff out and uh let's try again let's try again so if we get like that then we want to go like that and then maybe one across and then two down two down and then out how what, what is that is that looking more more better that's not a real sentence that's not some good english but is it looking more better guys oh actually it might be it's quite hard to tell let me let me land on this building again let me land back on cactus co which what i was thinking guys was i need to put like a logo on these buildings so this could be cactus co so it should be cc the, the logo would be cc maybe so i'll see what i can do about that maybe later on but um yeah so that's looking that's looking more about the shape that I want, actually. Um, this road here, I might have to bring over here just a smidge. It can stay here, but I think this corner is going to have to move down this way just a little bit, just a few blocks, just to fit this building in, because we're going to want to add a few layers of the wall so we can get um, details and depth in there. Okay, let me see if I can get these walls built up a bit and get a bit more of the shape that I'm going for. Um, I'm using bricks again, guys, because I really enjoyed it. This is pretty much the first time I've used bricks correctly, I believe. I've used them before, but they look terrible. But I think 
Um, I'm getting the hang of it and this industrial place. I'm not going to make all the industrial buildings out of bricks because it'll start to look a bit silly, but I really wanted to try it again because, um, yeah, I had quite a bit of fun last time. So we got two, one, and two. And then after that, what do we want to do? Is that... So two, two, so two. Um, by the way, I'm counting two lots of two here. And then do we want to jump out? Yeah, we probably want to jump out from there. So that's going to make the building a little bit bigger. Let me see if this makes it look more round. Actually, let's leave all this back stuff. And once we get a nice shape on the front that we can work with, we'll uh, come and build this. So I don't have to keep building this over and over again. Okay, guys. So this is the outline here. This looks nice and rounded, which looks good to me. I like it. I think we need to put another post on this side of the uh, the, the acacia stuff. And I'm going to square this off to here. Like this, it's going to connect into this building here. So we only have to build this to here and then we'll build around the back. I'm going to make that side of the building square as well. So it's only going to be this one rounded corner here. Right on the corner of this beast right here, on, on the corner of the, the, the street here, which I don't know why I called it a beast. But there you go. Okay, I'm going to add a lot of detail to this and get this built up the, the first uh, level or so um, built up. Now, I want to possibly extend this at some stage, so this needs to be quite a tall building. I basically need to leave as much space as I've used here again. So I need to quickly measure how many blocks high this is so that I can do it again because uh, we're going to need to do that if we want to add on to the storage system later. Look at look at the uh, awesome awesome sugarcane farm go. Oh, it's doing the glitchy thing. That that thing is not really there, by the way. Yeah, see, it's disappeared. Slime block machines sometimes, occasionally, just sort of dip in and out. Right, so this is going to bring back a whole lot of stuff now, which should be filtering through the system. So when that comes in. That's going to make everything flow like crazy. It's just not going to stop. But um, when that's not gone, once it's emptied all that, it should be fine. I'm going to go check the hoppers now just to make sure that we're not... Um, well, I can't check it now because um, all the stuff's coming through. But once it finishes clearing all this stuff, it shouldn't be... So that it doesn't get stuck, but this does. But it looks like not too much of this stuff's getting stuck. It should be all right, I think. I don't think we're going to clog this up because it's been on for a while and that, that's harvested a couple of times while I've been out here. So I think we're fine on that. I'm just not sure if we can add in those two farms or not. Anyway, let's get building. Alrighty, guys, how is this looking? This is the corner here. Ignore my dirt stairs. That, I think that looks pretty cool. We got the, uh, whatever these things are called, the, the carved, are they called carved? Chiseled stone bricks, close enough. And then we've got some steps um, there. So... This is the level of the bricks on the bottom, and then it actually steps out by one block on all of these, which I think looks really cool on some of these old buildings where the bottom is actually smaller than the top. So this is the level of these pillars here, and then we bring them out by one as well, and we bring the whole building out by one there. So I think that looks really cool, actually. So I think I'm going to build up this level, and obviously there's no windows or details in this thing yet. And I think I'm going to do like a design and maybe a window on this middle piece. I actually made this too wide here, so we can bring up a bit of a thing. So if we get some stairs, we can create windows like this. Let me see if I can show this. We can make windows like this. Um, what if we went like this? Let's just quickly have a look. Um, yeah, put another one on there. Put another one on there. Very good. We can create windows that look like this in the middle. So... Um, I wonder if putting, would we put like a whole piece of glass in there or like glass panes or whatever? I'm not sure. I've got some glass in here. Here we go. Very good. These chests are just full of garbage. So if we put like a full block of glass up here, what would that look like? Interesting. So actually, I'm going to craft some panes and see what that looks like instead. And here's the panes and that looks terrible. So if we are going to put that in here... We would have to do it with the full blocks. Actually, let me let me try something else. So now I've done this round the other way. Let's see what this looks like. Let's put this back. I mean, yeah, that looks that doesn't look too bad. But I think I'm going to go with the full block of glass. To be honest, it was worth a try. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can design something like that. We might even just like put black concrete behind this. That might work too. Actually, I think I've put all the black concrete away now. But we could get some because we want the dark windows like this. We don't want to be able to see into the building so yes okay let's see if we can build up something like that on top of this these two poles here because they're singular then we got two 
doubles there and then another two doubles but these middle ones we can build something like that so i might take these bricks out and see what we can hang on we've got three up there uh because we brought an outer block we've got three okay i see let's see what we can do with three now um we could put that window down here so i mean that might work okay guys here we go i think we're on to something now this is looking nice and round it's kind of got that like cinema type look on look around the front here so i'm actually really liking this i think it's cool this is pretty much what i was going for to be honest so we've got this little i've tried to put the window in guys it doesn't work and i put it down here and it it also doesn't work it looks absolutely terrible so we've put this in here it looks okay i'm not entirely sure but anyway we've got these little dividing lines here like that so we've got these little bits here and it goes up i just need to add a few more stories on and i think i'm going to start work on the front here as well because uh we want this part here to be looking nice because this this is what we're trying to we're trying to make it look nice from here we're going to do the other side as well so the other side will be two of these and then actually we might have to go a third one to get it along here anyway it's going to crash into this building at some stage but i think actually we might be able to go along here let's have a look oh yeah nope that's fine we can go along at this level here so we have uh, one two three and then hopefully this is all going to line up nicely with the other side i'm not too sure though because uh, we've got the same thing going on over here this is this is going to go flat and line up so i have to try and make this line up first let's yeah um to be honest it doesn't matter if it lines up with this side too much the entrance is going to be on that side of the building this is like the back road of it and so then uh i may put an entry here as well oh dear we're running out again how much of this stuff is there we've got three boxes of that we've got two cactus okay so those are all filling up oh my goodness they just it you know what guys we're gonna we're gonna have too much of this stuff i can, i can't keep up with all this this is just crazy okay well anyway once 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 those fill up and uh, all the hoppers fill up and it, it goes into this chest at the end we may have to put like a a thing that sort of uh just destroys the items when they when we get this all filled up because it's just gonna backstop it's gonna fill this whole place up look at all these potatoes coming through right now that's just that's just crazy these villages need to slow down you guys you guys need a break take a break take about 30 days break we've got enough food forever oh i just don't want to go back to the end i hate the end okay guys this is what we've got so far we've got a nice rounded corner here it has made a few problems but i do quite like it i think it looks really cool i like it i've just said that twice but you know oh no there's a mistake up there though have you guys just seen that ah oh, i've got nothing on me now because i've just been i spent about an hour an hour and a half or so gathering up some more clay because we needed more bricks i i mean it takes a very long time and also i've got to cut more acacia down because we're running low on that but guys we've got those two sides in i need to do something with the front here because oh man i'm just falling off everything um um it's hard to judge the front here because I haven't filled in this gap here so i'm going to come up with a with a design from there i will probably just bring like something across here and then fill this in exactly like that that's what we'll do so we've got all of this side done here as well almost up to that height that's why i ran out of bricks and around here we had a bit of a problem now to get to we want the middle to center on the middle of the building here obviously and so that created a bit of a problem because the curve over there brings this out one more then a gap of three so we had to put a gap of four here which is okay because i put a gap of four over here but that means i now need to change the front because this one here has a gap of three and the roof is just not going to line up at all if we don't switch that so i'm going to push this out one more block it's going to be closer to here but this building here is going to come along here probably right on top of this i believe so yes okay right let me build up the rest of this guys but I'm going to fix this little uh, extra bit that I've done right there. We're going to take that out. Let's just smack our face into the wall so we can take this out. And let's just put one of those in. Okay, very good. Now that's all fixed. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to fix the front and finish all of the sides. There, They all look like this. And then we can start adding details. Uh, probably like broken up blocks and stuff as well because uh, we need... We should bring the... What is that stuff called again? Oh, man. I've completely forgotten what this block is called, guys. It, it, granite, that's the one granite that hideous block that i've never used before but it looks really good in here i think anyway so we should hopefully be able to add that around here and yeah let's let's keep on going guys 
Okay guys, here we are, round the back. This is the, the, the beetroot and wheat farm underneath us, and this is this side. Now this building is gonna connect, the one from this building is going to connect to this building. It's like, it's gonna interact there, so we don't need to fill that in, just like we don't need to fill that side in um, over there. So that's good, we don't have to waste any more of these stupid bricks, which take forever to get. Um, so we have this side done as well, guys. I kind of got carried away, so this side's done as well. We have the three three wide designs in the middle here, and then the four wide designs um, on the two sides there. So I think that looks that looks pretty cool. I like that. That's very good. Now on this side, uh, we have the front door kind of thing. It's it's unusable. You, you you can't get in. But I think this door looks pretty cool. I really like it. Um, I have not put the windows on this side yet, I've just realized. So we got to do the windows over here still. Hopefully I have enough black concrete to finish those. The machine is going nuts. Okay, guys, let's see if we can see this, if we can get back far enough. And that is this side here. So that's about as tall as the building needs to be as well. We need to put a few more blocks and put a bit of a roof type thing on it. It's going to be reasonably flat roof. I'll show you what I mean when we get on with that. But uh, this is the front door here. This front looks a little bit funny. We have a few windows and it's all a bit out of size and stuff. But I think it still looks really cool. And then this is how you actually will get in. Obviously the inside is not decorated yet. That, that would be just be crazy. Then I really would have gone mental off camera. But it's uh, going nighttime because that's how this game works. It always makes it nighttime. But I think that has a really nice shape. I like that. I really like this building. It's awesome. Okay, let's finish off the windows on this side and then get on with the roof. Okay, guys, we got a problem. This hopper is starting to... Oh, I don't know how all the seeds came through. They don't need to be in here. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got a bit of a problem here, guys. A lot of stuff's coming through, so... Um, it's not keeping up. So what I'm gonna do is take out these hoppers along here reverse them and build another water tower on that side there and that will do just the wheat and the beetroot so the other farms can just continue on these four ones here so we can take out the hoppers from there all the way to there and then reverse them from there to there and have the uh the random stuff chest at there just in case stuff does go through the system so what i'm going to do is take those out and uh yeah also i've done some work out here we've got um I think this gray concrete looks like like tarmac or whatever. I'm not sure if they had that back then, but it's it's like a concrete substitute. So this little path leads from this door around to there. Maybe we'll put a path in here. I'm not too sure. I kind of like how this like comes right up next to the path, though, to be honest. And uh, we'll have to do some like not a garden per se, but some sort of like industrial looking wall or something. Um, I've moved the road over a bit so we could fit this path in and I have started work on the roof here. So I've just done a bit of everything since before. I did hook up those farms and it's uh, completely blocked up. But here you go, guys. This is the idea for the roof. So we got these little these little arches that go in the same place that these windows are. And the same thing on this side. And in between those, we have the stone bricks. So the stone bricks go in between those. Oh, I missed this one over here. We might as well, might as well do that while we're up here. Um, let, wait, wait, where is it? There. So that's the arch. And then we want this in here. Like so. Very good. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's fix that problem now. That, that might be difficult. Okay, guys, so we've done no more work on the roof, That's which is what I was supposed to be doing, but, you know, I didn't. Uh, is this going to... No, nope, I knew that was going to be wrong, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. I need to place this, this door back. No, I've done it wrong again, guys. I've, comp I've got to place it on this block, that's why. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Done. Done. All right, that's that's the big door. We can still get in here. Now, guys, I've done some work in here. We've put down a floor, which I think's awesome. Um, I need to put in some more little walkways up here so it's easier. I need to fill this in with oak over to there. That'll help. Um, this wall we could probably fill in. Like, do we have any black concrete on us? No. Um, so this, this floor is in. I've got the walls to do still if we're going to finish the inside. But I think I'm just going to finish off the roof now. Uh, we have this side in now, guys. This is where the beetroot comes through. Um, we have a filter system over here, which takes the seeds out. So right here, we filter beetroot through here. And we filter the wheat through here. And everything else goes into this dropper. And in there... Just, just down here is a nice lot of lava, right right there. So that just destroys all the seeds. We don't need them. There's too many. There you go. Seeds out into the lava. 
because uh, there's just going to be too many of them. So we've got these guys constantly going around and filling up these uh, this side now. I, I wonder if we've got enough through. So yeah, this side's working perfectly now. And this side has unclogged itself, I believe, because it's no longer getting those two items. Let's just check. Yes, as you can see, it's getting a couple of items right now, but... Um, it is uh, filtering, filtering them all through, so it's doing just fine. It's getting a lot of sugarcane right now, so it will it will get to that in a second. But as you can see, when the sugarcane turns off, it just completely empties, which is really good. And I'm pretty sure this side can keep up, because as you can see, there's not a lot coming. It just comes in bursts. So both these sides are done. We don't quite have that filled up yet. Okay, but that's that's good. I'm, I'm glad it's going a little slower, to be honest. I don't... I'd, oh my goodness again, okay, maybe it's not going that slow. We got a lot of beetroot there. Okay, well, let's finish off the roof, guys. That's what we really need to do. And here we go, guys. It is finished. So this is the roof here. We got some random windows up on there. They're on all sides except for this round bit here. So let's just take a flight up. We've put the uh, black concrete behind all of these windows as well. So I think that looks pretty cool. Let's just have a quick look on top of the roof. We have lights um, underneath this carpet here, which is awesome. That's keeping this all lit up. Um, but it would look a bit funny if we just had those on the roof. So yeah, there should be no spawnable spots up here. I've checked pretty much everywhere, so we should be okay. We've got torches down there. Actually, I haven't checked in this area here. Let me just check. On the block there, it says eight. It can't go lower than that. If it goes seven, something will spawn. Okay, that's very good. That's all. That's all covered. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Well, this is the roof. We got little chimneys on it and whatnot, but we need to... Oh, we, we're going to need some more of these. Hang on a sec. So, guys, there it is. It's looking awesome. I really like the shape that we've come up with. It's good. It looks interesting. It looks new. And, yeah, it's good. So, that's, that's it, guys. That's all we have time for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.